What's up everybody? My name is Will. We're at Elegance Barber Studio in LA. It's my boy Matt and it's our show. So Matt, thank you for letting us come through the studio. Thanks for coming through. And uh, so Matt is a barber, um, but you know he's much more than that. We call him an artist here on the art show. Oh, you're so nice. <laughs> yeah. let, him, let him know a little bit about what you do on a day to day here. Alright, wake up. Well, first I go to sleep, not knowing what I'm gonna do when I wake up. <laughs> and I wake up, my phone ding 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 ding. Can you come to this Beverly Hills Hotel, this mansion, then can you come back and do a cut here? I'm like, damn, y'all paying for my gas or what? Well, like, nah, right. But they give me good money, so wherever I can go, wherever people need me, I just try to go everywhere. I try to you know, get my contacts up. Yeah. I'm new to LA, you know? How'd you, uh, yeah, how'd you get into this? How'd you end up in LA cutting hair? At first, I was just cutting hair in my garage, and I was posting on Instagram a lot, yeah. and people, people were just starting to follow me, follow me, follow me. I got signed to another brand that got my following up more, and then Elegance found me. I hit them up, they, they wanted me to come through, and I couldn't come on an interview as soon as they wanted, a year before I actually came to LA. And so they're like, they went a different route, got somebody else. And then a whole year went by, they, they hit me up again. Can you come tomorrow for an interview? I'm like, damn. <laughs> I'm not missing this one. I can't, I can't get like a day or two to like reschedule my life. I can't just go to LA <laughs> like super fast. Right. But I was like, nah, I'm not missing the opportunity again. So I, I came with my boy Jose. We went down here. They offered me a job right, right in this chair, bro. Same spot, right in this chair. Everybody that, that knew me from back home knew I worked hard. And they were always telling me, oh, you're gonna end up in LA one day. I'm like, I'm not going to know what LA is, bro. And then the opportunity came, I took it, and everybody was just supportive. They just rocked it. Yeah, they rocked with me. The only people hating is probably like the only people on Instagram that want my spot. Yeah. But they'll never tell me, yeah. you know? But everybody's been, everybody's been, yeah, exactly. Everybody's been really supportive. So it helps me when you have good support, you know? Yeah. I mean, it was hard coming here every day and not having a client when I first moved here. Yeah. Seeing all the other barbers just cutting all day and I'm like, damn, I'm sitting in the same chair just waiting for a walking. But everybody I cut, I try my hardest. And the people would come back little by little and tell their friends. Yeah. I made yeah, sure, yeah. That's how you build that client yeah. base. Just, just making sure people like, I tell them like, hey, if you got a friend, bring him in, man. Like, I'm new here. Help me out, I'll help you out. Like, I'm making you fresh, bro. <laughs> help, help, help me out too, man. Yeah. And they're like, all right, I got you. People, people respected that, man. From one big artist to the next, then people see, see me blow up on Instagram posting big artists. And not only that, I'm trying to get all the normal people every day. So yeah. putting my eggs, in, my eggs in all that baskets, just trying to like build every day. I'm still building. Yeah. I mean, you it. had, who was it yesterday, Combs? Oh yeah, Christian Combs. Christian Combs, big big son, right up in the room. Woo! <laughs> big ball is in the building. You already know. You already know. <laughs> so we gotta get what we came here to get, and that is the freshest haircut in the southern region. Uh, <laughs> go ahead. I don't know you what can I'm gonna do. Whatever do. you can do to well, this just mess. Put my mind in there. We're gonna do it. Let's get it. We're gonna get it right. Damn, this shit is a challenge. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> this shit is difficult. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, I was young enough that I tried it. Mm -hmm. 
and now that stuff is working, I, like I'm, I guess I'm starting to come up with new plans. But honestly, I don't really have too many goals right now, but just to keep doing what I'm doing, because it's gonna lead to a door yeah. that I never knew was coming. Because you never know what the future could hold, so I don't, I don't like to expect something and it doesn't come. But I feel like if I just work hard every day, doing what I do, God will put me in the right position. See the cuts better, man. Uh, fresh through the lens. I uh, appreciate it, man. Yeah, I got you. I got you. <laughs> Good looking. That's it. We finished this episode of the Art Show. I want to give a big thanks again to Anytime. Matt. I appreciate you guys coming out here. Kind of let me 
show my story to everybody. Yes, yeah, sir. It's a great story, man. We, appreciate we, it. We really appreciate that. Shouts out to Elegant Studios as well for letting us come into the VIP room and uh, use their space for today. And uh, we'll see you next time on our show. Let's get it. See y'all soon. I'm really focused, you know? Mm -hmm. I'm just trying because if, if I don't focus, then you're not going to do anything if you're not focused. So. Then I, then I won't talk so much and then someone just will feel like this is a massage mm -hmm. and then knock out. That's me right now. <laughs>